In this update, there is a new feature as part of the unit push rate optimization screen, which is under the price optimizer section. To get there, you're going to go to company and click on unit push rate optimization. The new option is on the right hand side under the initial setup screen that says override based on vacant units. You can click an option to override push rates based on number of vacant units with the same unit type and size. Enable override for unit types and areas with at most X total units, zero being no limit. For example, if I have my normal plan set up that if I'm at 95% occupancy I do this or 87.5% occupancy I do that, I can say that's great, but if my 10 by 10s, for example, or my 5 by 5s, for example, only have three vacant units left, instead of my push rate going up by 2%, I want it to go up by 4%. If I have two units left, I want it to go up by 5%. One unit left, I want it to go up by 6%. You obviously decide what that push rate percentage would be based on the number of total units. If your push rate is zero, it will disable the override and it will use the normal push rate calculation. You must have a value in here in order for it to override the existing plan. So in this case, if I have values under one unit, two units, and three units, the fact that I have zero from four units to ten means that this comes into play only if I have three units or less vacant for a given size.